Jordan sophomore, soon to be a junior. Uh, I am studying business administration with a concentration in pre-med. And I'm running for vice president because I want to be part of an organization that promotes my culture and also increases diversity. So my prior experience with this position was um, freshman year of my high school year. Um, and then the rest of my high school career was uh, in the president's position um, for Stuco, of course. For VSA next year, I want to help increase the number of like, active members and also make the meetings um, more engaging. But beside those two main goals, I want to be able to contribute in any way that I can. Um, in terms of next year's like involvement and activities, I will still be helping out with my research lab, volunteering at Lawrence Memorial Hospital, uh, be active in my youth group, church youth group, and um, help with help out with Business Healthcare United. Um, in terms of time management, uh, I would dedicate at least two, one to two hours every single week to help plan for the meetings and actually execute the meetings. And then depending on the activity that we have um, like during that month for VSA, I will dedicate more hours if needed. Uh, in what ways am I gonna try and assist the president? Um, I will be helping the president by giving all the support uh, that the president needs, uh, whether, whether that be stepping in when the president can't make it to the meeting or um, taking over any other task. I think a big responsibility of the vice president is just making sure all of the items on the agenda gets accomplished and just reminding the president um, in any way that I can. And how do I plan to improve the relationship with other universities? I think keeping an active communication is very important. Um, and other than that, I think having a bonding time or a bonding experience every single semester would be really fun uh, just to keep things going. And my ideas for VSA next year that haven't already been executed would possibly be doing something around that time, just because I know a lot of, uh, like for my church, for example, and other places have like events such as like performances and food and all of that for that. So I think that would be interesting to invite everyone to come. And lastly, if the president is not fulfilling their role fully, what would I do? Um, I would first talk to the president just because I think um, it's important to just have that one-on-one -on -one time, uh, see if friendly reminders could um, help out or just be that solution. Other than that, if the problem continues, then I would approach the rest of the board and talk to them and see if we can solve the problem. But essentially, just having an open and honest communication, I think, is very important because it's probably the best and main way to approach these type of things. Um, but I would not want to make the president feel like he or she is being attacked. So it's important to keep everything transparent. And those are my responses.